Hey everybody, I wanted to make a video for um, breastfeeding moms who have had to return to the workforce and are pumping and may run into some hiccups. Um, my daughter started refusing a bottle of express breast milk about, let's see, she was probably around four months old. And after switching bottles, switching nipples, trying all different kinds of stuff, my friend and mommy guru and uh, caretaker of my baby when I'm at work said that she thought that I might have excess lipase in my milk. It's something that she went through. And uh, so I guess I had to um, scald my breast milk, which is fine if you... Uh, can go home and scald your breast milk in a pot on the stove for the next day, but mine was turning before I could even go home. So I had to start using a bottle warmer here at work, which is less than ideal, but it's doable. It's really not too bad once you start doing it. Um, so what is lipase anyway? It's an enzyme that helps break down and digest fat. It's not a bad thing. It's good for your child, but when you are pumping your breast milk for the next day or for a later time, it's breaking down the milk. It's breaking down the fat in the milk and, and it makes it taste a little bit funny. And for those babies with discerning palates, you know, some of them don't like it. I haven't had to scald my breast milk now for a couple of months. So breast milk is dynamic. It changes with baby's needs. So I don't know if my, if my daughter just doesn't mind the taste now, or if it's a non-issue, I don't know, whatever it is, I don't have to do it anymore, but we made it through and, um, you can too, if breastfeeding is important to you and you run into this problem, it's doable. You'll know, your baby will be spitting out the milk, will seem very hungry, seem like she or he is very hungry, but uh, will just be really upset when you try to give them a bottle. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and I wish you luck. Okay guys, here we are. I just use this little munchkin bottle warmer. You put the water in here. And for me, for about, um, Shoot. Four ounces of milk. I fill this up. Totally full. Dump it in. And then about that much more. I think you can see it. Just right here where my thumb is at the bottom. Dump that right in. Replace this. I use this little born free glass bottle. It's worked great. I tried a mason jar before thinking that, you know, um, and then, so here's my milk. I pumped into this bottle, dump it in here. Every last drop. I just use a regular old like neat grill thermometer, pop it in there, press start. It's going to start to steam it. With the amount of water that I put in there, it will bring it right up to about 160 degrees. And that has been fine for us. So this will take about five minutes. I'll come back okay, we're and back. show you. We're done. Oopsie, just a little bit above 160. Great. This is a little bit hot when you take it out. So, Sorry, I'm not the best videographer. But I scoured the internet when I had this problem. And I'm a visual learner and I couldn't find much that dealt with workforce scalding. So I just went ahead, put this in here. And then you really should have an ice bath ready. I didn't. I'll throw a few ice cubes in here, throw this in here, and I put it, the whole thing right in the fridge. And that's it. You're done. Um, so I hope that this has been helpful for you. Oh, also, there can be a little film on the top of that milk, and that's okay. Uh, just pour the whole thing in there. And, um, you know, I hope you have success.
Good luck.